as our very own Bill of Church for reporting from Florida. Now, when you hear what I heard, rainfall fills the Dallas Cowboy Stadium 51,000 times. That puts so many things into perspective, Carly. Yeah. Things that, you know, like you mentioned earlier, we're still in hurricane season mm -hmm. and we have to be careful. We have to be aware. Yeah, the, the, the best thing is just to stay uh, alert and not necessarily in alert mode like it's time to take action, but just keep up to date with the forecast. We have a 40% chance of development in the Gulf of Mexico. It does not look like South Texas will have a direct impact, but it is worth keeping an eye on so you're not caught off guard by anything. Uh, we do have Hurricane Kirk that will be out in the Atlantic. We talked about that a few minutes ago. So uh, not in uh, either of these storms, Kirk or what will likely become Leslie, not anticipated to have any impact on the continental United States besides maybe some rougher, bigger waves and a rip current risk across the East Coast. 40% chance of development in the Gulf of Mexico. That's what we're going to focus on now. You can see a lot of convection into the Bay of Campeche. There's a low that's actually developed right down there. and that that's going to essentially create a trough that's going to help bring tropical moisture back to South Texas. So we have an upper level low that's going to set up over the western portion of South Texas, right along kind of the Rio Grande. Uh, and that's going to help uh, boost a chance for some thunderstorms as we head into Friday late afternoon and evening and then into our Saturday. You can see the deeper tropical moisture here, a little bit of spin right here, uh, but we also have a broader area of some rotation that tries to develop. That's the system coming out of the Caribbean. So you'll see that taking a lot of the deeper tropical moisture more so toward Florida, especially as this cold front digs south. What's going to happen is ahead of this front, we are going to get a strong kind of uh, southwest to northeast push in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. That's going to take that tropical moisture back toward Florida, bring drier air back into Texas as we head into next week. So when it comes to rainfall, you'll see the rain increasing along that trough that gives us a chance for some rain. But once the front slides in, rainfall totals really ramping up across South Florida. And so for us, it doesn't look like a ton of rain, but there is a little bit of rain in the forecast, especially along the coast. So you'll see we boosted Saturday to about a 50% chance, keeping it about a 30% chance on the bookend Friday and Sunday. So the best shot is Saturday. It would be scattered along areas near the coast, isolated the further inland you go, and then almost no rain uh, even further to the west. So right now, very calm conditions, clear skies still with us, no fog early Early on this morning, but we are going to see sunshine this afternoon. That'll bring temperatures back into the 90s. Now they haven't been quite as hot as I anticipated they would get with the sunshine. I think that lower sun angle is working in our favor, but overall there is a chance actually for a few little showers, especially for Kennedy County as a week a front kind of weekends over the Gulf of Mexico before that trough arrives. So you'll see right here. This is Friday evening. We start to increase the rain across our coastline uh, and that will continue into Saturday. But notice there's going to be a, a sharp kind of cutoff between who sees rain and who doesn't see any rain at all. And those coastal locations have the best shot at any rain. In your seven day forecast, there is a chance we see some rain during Friday night football games, but Saturday is our better chance of rain. A little cooler with that rain as well, Barbie.